Welcome to the 5-1 profile. The 5-1 has in the conscious personality the fifth line. This is a very attractive line. This is a line that is the heretic. The line where people project upon you that you can really solve their problems. On the unconscious side, we have the first line. This is a line of insecurity. A line of trying to dig deep to find a solid foundation upon which to rely upon. So they're very different, the five and the one. You know, it's something where on the outside, when you're meeting people, this fifth line is very transpersonal. You know, you really look in to see other people. You can see what they need. You take care of them. It's a side of you that can really reach into the other and know what's going on. It's heavily karmic this fifth line for you. You're here to meet friends and allies from the past, to give them a helping hand in the way that they helped you, and to meet your enemies, the ones that did you wrong in previous lives. This time to finish it with them, you know, whatever that may mean for you. So you're going to get a lot of people focused in on you because of that past life connection. It means that you can't really fulfill your own life until you meet certain people along the way. So it's going to be important for you to meet certain people in this life. He obviously knew very clearly that people would project upon him. So for a lot of his uh, teaching career, he used to wear a hat with a an emblem or uh, something cryptic written on it, or a t-shirt with something cryptic on it. Something where people could look at something other than him to deflect the projection screen. You know, wearing a hat is a good way of doing it. Wearing something that will attract attention is also a good way of doing it. So that, you know, the, they can't quite get to see you, but they see something. That's a good thing to remember. Clint Eastwood is a 5-1, for example. You know, it's, it's classic. You know, do you feel lucky, punk? Well, do you? You know, I mean, the, the kind of lines, I know it was in the film, but he holds it so well. The, the stranger that comes in from the outside in some of those spaghetti westerns. You know, the mysterious one that comes in and, and creates havoc or not. <laughs> I mean, your heresy is going to be different to what's around. You know, a lot of what's around in the world doesn't work. We need something different. We need someone with your practicality. But at the same time, there is this mysterious quality about you. And look at Clint Eastwood's career. I think he started off in Rawhide or some TV program that was popular and then moved on to the Spaghetti Westerns and then moved on to the, um, the Dirty Harry movies and built up bit by bit certain roles that he played, but many things that came off that. This is someone who has been in films his whole life. Yes, it's healthy to be paranoid, <laughs> but you carry the hopes and the dreams of the people on your shoulders. And that's quite a responsibility. So enjoy those times of wonder and thank you for your practical assistance for all those people I know you've helped. And in those times when you've got a bad reputation, move on and enjoy your life. Enjoy your life as the wandering heretic, the heretic investigator, the deep seductive one that we all love.